Hey everyone, I hope you're doing good and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be speaking about quite a topical thing at the moment in the UK, considering festivals are going ahead. Should you spend your money to have fun or save it? Everything I say in this video is my opinion only, so don't come at me in the comments saying, oh, you should do this, you should do this. It's just how I think, all right? Make sure to smash that like button and hit that little subscribe button down in this corner as it does mean a lot to me. Now, no more waffling, let's get into it. As you all know, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a licensed financial advisor, so if you do want professional help, you will have to look elsewhere. Now, as I'm sure you are aware, it is currently festival season. Well, I say festival season, it's time to book your tickets for the festivals. Following a recent announcement by Boris Johnson, everybody is waiting on the deadline day of June 21st. From this point onwards, if we stay on track, we will be back to normal life. Whether this happens or not is a tricky one. Considering the government's plan going forwards in the UK in terms of controlling the virus, apparently everything will be good and we'll be able to go back to normal life by June 21st. And yeah, normal life includes clubs, festivals, parties, you name it. Normal life! As much as I am excited for this, it almost seems too good to be true. The government really haven't had the best track record of controlling it so far. So we've got to put our trust in them this time as much as I think it isn't going to happen. Anyway, considering everything does go to plan, events like festivals will still be going ahead this summer. Which brings me on to the topic of this video. Should you go out and spend your money and have fun or save it to better yourself in the future with your investments? Now I'm going to say my opinion right here. Go out and enjoy yourself. We have been in this lockdown for too long. Too long. There's been so many sad faces walking around at work. People have had enough of it. Go out and enjoy yourself. Do not stay at home. And that is the best advice I could get well that's what I'm gonna be doing anyway if you don't want to go out you don't want to go do those things you don't have to do it but go and enjoy yourself that's why I've got my top on at the moment this is the top I wore to sundown in 2019 2019 man by the time we go to sundown this year it'll be two years ago it's quite clear to see what my opinion is on this question memories are priceless you cannot buy them back you can't pay to relive them they happen once and that's it obviously you can redo stuff but it will never be the same as the moment you were in in that moment in time but obviously this does depend on what type of person you are if you have a massive friendship group and you go out all the time and you love club and love party and all of that you're clearly gonna go out you're gonna have fun if you're not into that kind of stuff and you're quite preserved quite shy you don't really like clubbing you like keeping to yourself might be a bit different for you now the key is finding the perfect balance for you for all i know you could be a very motivated individual watching this video saving up for your house with your job that you got at the moment you, and you don't want to spend any money on anything as much as i encourage that and i encourage saving money and investing for the future it's always good to go and have fun and enjoy yourself every time you laugh you release hormones into your body which make you happier whether this means just putting £10 to the side per week just for your own leisure, whether it's a takeaway, going down to the pub to have a drink with your friends, or ordering some clothes online. A good idea is to set yourself a limit on how much you spend per week. If you do have that self-control where you can prevent yourself from overspending, good for you. But if you tend to get carried away, you can always ask a family member to remind you, or you could set transaction blocks on your account. One good method is removing Apple Pay from your phone. It is so convenient and it can be very dangerous at some times, especially now it has no maximum limit on how much you can spend in one purchase. Now on the other end of the spectrum, we have people that go out every single week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they're on it. If you are this type of person, be careful with how much you spend. Obviously jobs aren't the most available thing going at the moment and if you are unemployed you really have to be careful with how much you spend. By all means I'm not being the anti-fun police, don't go out and drink, don't do anything. Obviously go and do that, I, I highly encourage it because it's a perfect time to do it. Well not now, Like as soon as we come out of lockdown it'll be the perfect time to do it. 
but just don't be stupid with it. Don't go into an overdraft to order your mate a pint, like that kind of stupid. Like You want to make sure you've got petrol money for the next week or something like that. Just don't go extreme. If I could give anyone advice at the moment that is living in the UK, save your money until the restrictions get lifted. I've been doing this since lockdown got announced last year as there's no need to go out and spend money on anything. Obviously I did spend money when the eat out to help out scheme was going and summer was here around August, September time because that's when the restrictions were lifted a little bit. But since we go into a full lockdown, I don't bother spending any money, there's no point. I'm just saving up money for the summer of 2021 because by the looks of things, it's going ahead. Start an investing account, make money, and go and enjoy yourself. <laughs> now, I'm all for living in the moment, so when you go out to a restaurant to eat and go and spend money, etc, etc, you don't want to be sitting there thinking about your bank. Enjoy yourself while you're there. But, unfortunately, money is what makes the world go round. So at some point you will have to look at your bank and at some point you might not be able to pay for something. Like I said before, it's always about finding the perfect balance which is good for you. If you're heavy on fun, go and have fun, but put a little bit to the side so you're not screwed for the future. And if you're not into going out and doing all of that kind of stuff, Make sure you have some fun as well. Everybody's had it rough the past year, some more than others. My condolences go out to the people that have lost anyone due to COVID or for any other circumstances. But yeah, you deserve to go and have a laugh with your mates. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't a stock heavy market watch type video. It is more to do with the topics that are going on at the moment, as I know a lot of festival tickets are being booked up and there's a lot of hype going on. Everyone can't wait for June 21st, Sundown, Reading, Glastonbury, oh, Oh, not Glastonbury. But don't worry, I've got my eyes on the stock market at the moment. <laughs> Why? So I will have content focused on stocks coming up very shortly in the future. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner, I'm so close to 100 subs and I can't believe how quick I've gone up so far. So thank you to everybody that has subscribed and that does watch my videos. It means so much to me. Stay safe and go have some fun. I'll see you on the next one.